Uh, Arkady is from uh, Neo NeoNVM, and I want to thank Neo NeoNVM for sponsoring tonight's meetup. So thank Arkady and thank you uh, EVM. Yeah. Hello, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, it's a presentation from our uh, lead uh, integration engineer, who is lead engineer. So uh, he was, it's uh, basically mostly actually from uh, technical side. For, I'm from uh, business side, so I will try to explain it. But uh, you know, like <laughs> in in the way when I cannot explain it, he will help me maybe. Yeah. Uh, so uh, here is some. Uh, what is Neon EVM is uh, right now, so it's not like a layer 2 solution because we are not a roll up, we didn't use uh, our blockchain, our blocks, so we use uh, Solana uh, blocks and uh, we like uh, execution layer or abstraction layer, so we uh, execute the EVM bytecode into Solana uh, virtual machine. So uh, from the, for example, for from Ethereum, uh, we have a from the Ethereum builders. We don't need uh, any uh, code changes. So you can easily uh, deploy your, for example, fork of Uniswap on Neon VM. It, uh, in the back, it will be Solana transaction. Uh, and also, so we have uh, familiar languages like Solidity or Viper and uh, well-known Ethereum tools like Metamask, Hardhead, Truffle, Remix, uh, and so on. Uh, and also we have uh, the fully compatibility uh, RPC API endpoints, uh, yep. Uh, so yeah, all the Ethereum transactions, signature uh, token standards like ERC20, ERC721, and so on and so on. Uh, from Solana benefits, uh, we have a parallel execution. I will uh, tell about it a little bit later. Uh, low gas fees, uh, yeah. Uh, mostly that's like it because also maybe you know like right now uh, Solana is uh, growing very fast uh, and uh, so we also use uh, Solana state and consensus mechanism so we don't have uh, any consensus mechanism on Neon EVM so Neon EVM like as I said is just execution layer. Okay, yes, so what is uh, Neon EVM inside it because uh, just uh, EVM, EVM is uh, like uh, uh, smart contract written on Solana uh, using the Rust language. Uh, we just uh, uh, like uh, uh, translate uh, Ethereum like bytecode inside Solana. So we have a, a Solana program, name it as ADM. Uh, we have a, a proxy server. Proxy server is a RPC endpoint which uh, receives a, a just methods like Ethereum like methods, and uh, we have a tracer apparel which is fully compatible as the uh, debug methods, so which is used by uh, our uh, block explorers like Neon Scan and uh, uh, Block Scout. Uh, also, we have a Neon Pass. Neon Pass is native bridge solution that helps uh, bridging uh, liquidity from Solana to Neon EVM. And also, we have Neon Faucet, just Faucet for test nets. And uh, we have a Neon DAO, so Neon DAO is based on uh, Solana. And uh, that is uh, uh, Neon DAO is, uh, you know, like uh, managed the Neon EVM smart contract. So it's uh, governed by Neon DAO. Any changes on Neon EVM will be governed by Neon DAO. So uh, Neon token will be like uh, a ticket to uh, vote on changes on Neon EVM. Uh, also, we support the high speed, like uh, 2,000 transactions per second, like on Solana, and uh, really low gas fee. It's not the lowest right now, but it's really low for the EVM. Yeah, we are already live. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. So about Neon ecosystem uh, right now, it's not up to date because we have a, a lot of uh, more dubs for the moment. Uh, so we basically, as you can see, it's uh, uh, dubs is EVM supported and uh, what interesting here. So we have a safe fork right now. We have uh, two bridges at Neon Pass native bridge and uh, the bridge is uh, as uh, Mm, cross bridging solution for messaging. Uh, we have two indexes, uh, Covalent and Zgraph. Uh, 
um, blog explorers like Neonscan and Blog Scout. And uh, yeah, from Solana side, from Solana Vertical, we have uh, uh, a price feeds from Chainlink and Pit, so we don't have uh, our own uh, on Neonavian uh, price feeds. We use the on Solana side. Also, we're fully compatible with Metaplex data and SPL token uh, on Solana. So uh, what it means, uh, for example, when you create a ERC20 token on Neon EVM, it will be on the back as a SPL token on Solana, so you easily can swap it on Solana and bring it to Solana, so it will be the same. Yeah, and also from tooling, we support all the tooling like Dev Frameworks, SDK and APIs, uh, ideas like Remix and Chain ID. So, yeah, the most leads. Also, this diagram is showing like Dev tooling we're supporting in. So it's the same. Yeah, and uh, about the Neon even architecture. So, uh, how it works like. So, uh, for example, uh, we have a any uh, decentralized application front end and uh, Ethereum like transactions. So, Neon Proxy received it and uh, provides, uh, uh, for example, like uh, use it like uh, uh, execute layer and uh, do the Solana transaction is this just 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 put inside all the data about uh, Ethereum like transaction inside Solana transaction? I will tell about a little bit later. So uh, the Neon EVM uh, Neon proxy uh, supported it running by Neon EVM, uh, Neon EVM operator. Right now we just uh, have a two of operators that uh, running the Neon proxy on our side, on their side. Sorry. Uh, so yeah. And uh, is Neon EVM as a program on Solana machine, so it's basically on inside Solana. Yeah, and uh, how it looks like the classic Solana program. Uh, so the most difference between EVM and Solana world is uh, uh, Solana is uh, stateless, as Ladan uh, told before, mentioned it. So, uh, for example, how this looks like on Neon EVM side, uh, we have, uh, mm, so for basically, so Solana have uh, two types of accounts. It's uh, one is program account, uh, execution layer, and the second one is data account. It stores all data. So uh, in, our, in our site, like, like Neon EVM program looks like, so uh, we store all, all the data inside the uh, data account about the, as a, Ethereum address, nonce, balance, and so on and so on. Uh, yeah, mostly that's it. And the other side, we can check the how the transaction cost and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like how we pack it inside the uh, Solana transaction, the AVM transaction. So, uh, the most crucial thing here is uh, the list of neon accounts and the list of uh, neon contracts, which is uh, basically uh, is Solana accounts, which we use for. And uh, how it uh, looks like, so when uh, the parallel execution, uh, how it works on uh, uh, neon EVM side. So if you, for example, use two different uh, neon account, uh, for example, two different uh, smart contracts, so uh, Solana node we now understand, we'll, we'll understand it, so we translated it to Solana transaction and uh, new, uh, in Solana will understand, so it will be executed in parallel. So, for example, one of the uh, decentralized application and uh, will uh, huge, uh, huge amount of transaction, so it will, uh, transaction cost will go up, but the other one will uh, normal uh, cost of transaction, so uh, it will be looks like that, so yeah. And uh, right now I will tell about something about the uh, Debridge solution, I think uh, maybe everybody knows about it, so it's uh, it's not a new one, but right now the bridge is uh, implement uh, cross bridge, cross bridge, cross chain messaging, uh, yeah, and the uh, Right now, uh, for Neon EVM, the bridge will be the cross messaging layer, the most crucial one. 
Yeah, and uh, about incoming futures from Neon EVM right now, we are working on uh, multi-token gas payment, so it will be really interesting when you can uh, easily pay for the transaction in Seoul, in Rapid Ethereum or USDC or USDT. So it's already on testnet, so you can try it. Yeah, and uh, the most crucial thing right now, it's uh, uh, fully interoperability with Solana. So what does it mean? So right now we have an interoperability between uh, ERC20 token and SPL token. So for example, if you have a, a fork of Uniswap on Neon EVM, so you can easily transfer a SPL token inside and create liquidity pool inside your uh, fork of Uniswap and uh, use it uh, all liquidity inside Solana. Uh, so right now we are fully interoperable between uh, with the SPL tokens and uh, what we want to have, a, and for example, right now we are also, uh, for example, NFT created on Neon EVM is, uh, it will be NFT on Solana uh, with all metadata on Metaplex presented and um, uh, in future, we will have uh, interoperability between accounts, Neon EVM accounts and Solana accounts. So, for example, you can easily run your Uniswap fork on Neon EVM and uh, you don't need to transfer SPL tokens inside Neon EVM. So, you can easily call the Solana program from Neon EVM and it will be executed and, for example, it will be transferred SPL tokens inside Neon EVM. So what does it mean? So uh, when you swap one token to another token, and it will be called, the, for example, Orca or Radium pools, and it will be swapped here, so something like this. Uh, yeah, mostly that's it. Sorry for that, you know, like too fast or something. Yeah. Any questions? <laughs> Thank you, thank you.